and be sure that it's just one person. No. Surely it's not. <clears throat> Unless it was someone with 15 toes. Uh, I'm going to be sick. Of course you are. You've been eating too much nougat. <laughs> it's not the nougat. It's the jumble of dead spring breakers. No, it's the nougat. Oh. That stuff isn't meant to be consumed in large quantities over a consistent period of time. I'm surprised you even have bowel movements anymore. Ha <laughs> ha! I am touched you've taken an interest in my evacuation. There were three in the bathroom. <gasps> well, that's just sick. Oh, well, not that. There were three bodies in the bathroom. I hate myself for thinking that's less sick than three piles of shit. <laughs> the girl in the bathtub was only 17. Did you count her bone range? She had a t-shirt with only 17 written on it. <laughs> Not exactly evidence. She also left her driver's license next to the sink. Ah. Did she have her head? Surprisingly enough, they left her head. Attached? Mostly. They must have had some party in here before things took a turn. There wasn't a thing left in the minibar. They literally made mincemeat of the six people in the bed. Six? At least. Unless you know someone with three of those. Oh, no. But I do know two with only one. That's why I said at least six. They had to have some toolbox to pull that off. And the noise from the party covered up all the noise from the slashing and chopping and screaming and dying. Are we in the same hotel? Why do you keep asking that? They all look alike. Every place we go looks like the last one. <laughs> I can't even remember where we are anymore. Every hotel looks the same. <laughs> More or less. But it would be profoundly unlucky if all of this were happening in the same place. It's profoundly unlucky wherever it's happening. I wonder where they left her head. They're inconsistent. Sometimes they take the heads, sometimes they put them in gazpacho, sometimes they leave them attached, mostly. You can't expect logic from killers. I'm not looking for logic, just a pattern. Why did they let the party go on so long? Or was the party already in progress when they arrived? Or did the party start when the killing started? Why did they take the room service menu, but they left the Bible behind? Well, maybe they weren't spiritually hungry. <coughs> Are you getting a sense of humor? <laughs> I picked one up from the gift shop. <laughs> maybe. They were spiritually hungry, but they could not be satisfied by what they found. Well, that is a fascinating psychological insight. Yeah. But it doesn't help us find our killers. Or killer. Do you still think one person would do all of this? I'm not ruling anything out. All this destruction just to take out a party? It's like something out of Beowulf. So now you think Grendel did it? <laughs> Or Grendel's mom? <laughs> Think about it. Grendel can't stand the noise from Rothgar's party. It drives him mad. He comes up and slaughters the partiers. What we have here is a Grendel, or a Grendel's mother, responding to the noise that drive them into a killing rage. It would explain the viciousness of the killings. Once the choir returns, they sling back to their room again. That is an interesting theory. Yeah. For this murder, it doesn't explain any of the others. Hmm. What if this Grendel effect was metaphorical? I don't like where this is going. What if this Grendel responds to all kinds of stimuli in the same way? What if our Grendel sees everyone as Rothgar's companions making the noise <laughs> that drives him mad, and then Grendel kills until the noise is gone, but the noise is never gone because there's always more people to kill. This is all a metaphor. Something about the people, something about the culture, something about the world is triggering this Grendel to destroy everything. Some kind of metaphorical noise of culture is making this metaphorical Grendel go on a killing spree until the noise is gone. Or until Beowulf shows up and chokes him to death and his mother too, just to be sure. It's just a theory. More of a structural hypothesis, really. Well, I'm sure it'll look great in a book. Thank you. In the meantime, we have to find this Grendel, or Grendel's mom, and stop it. Or them, or it, or its mom. Mm. Right. Where do we start? Well, we may as well start with the room directly underneath this one. 